Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years... So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Joy gets lit up by that straight punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Effective punch there by Short. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. And both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful strike. <laughs> Got the single collar tie. Left hand punch the splinch. Superboy gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Obama Mercier. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab, it's something you can't really prepare for. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Obama Mercier gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. No 
problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. in the single collar tie. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Nice strike. Five minutes in the books. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. defensively there to block the strike by the Korean Super Bowl. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful leg kick throw. That's a big strike right there. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing it. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his bite. Joy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Straight right hand, no good. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, Bob Mercier going for the takedown. Nothing doing there. Good punch. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into the home stop, beating his leg up. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Well, you saw us referencing the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Just misses with the straight right. Hit that body hard. Punch over the top. Under three minutes to go in round two. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, Bon Mercier's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. There's no tell on that leg. Oh, nice strike landed there by Obon Mercier. He's just out of range with that right hand. And he landed the right hand there. Wow. Oh, yeah, right hand. All right, single collar tie now. How good is that right hand? 
nice loop and punch. Some nice back and forth action here. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Look at the whip action that comes from just throwing that kick. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use this. Great punch landed with so much power. Just misses with the jab there. Double jab there by Obama Mercier. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing. Oh! to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Knee to the body. Left hand punch from the clinch. And there comes the separation now. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice body kick there. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Head kick. Right on the button. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. What a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 58 seconds of round number two. Declare the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after?